Greetings, everyone. Sometimes when the spirits have a job for you, you might not want that job. Especially if you're going through some things that are taking up a lot of your time mentally. But listen, I'm sharing this story so that you too will find a way to accept the things you cannot change and to recognize your role in this life and act according to the plans that the universe have in store for you. Because who you are is not necessarily defined by who you think you are, but by what the universe or the spirits decide how they're going to use you. So I was taking a course recently, and on my first day of the class, when I went and we had to go into group sessions, they said that they had to pick a team leader for the group. And almost like a chorus, everyone said, Jen, we want Jen. And at the time I was thinking, I just want to just take my course and be in here and out of here. I just don't want to be doing all that. And the next day, the person who teaches the course takes me outside. He calls me and says, can I speak to you outside? I was like, what the hell? I'm so quiet. I'm just minding my own business. Or what does he want with me? And I go outside and he says to me, I'm going to ask you to help me manage this class. Because as much as these are young adults, the, the, the addiction to the phone, people don't believe that your phone is something that is an extension of you. It is becoming one with you for a lot of people. If the internet goes out, you panic. You, you don't know what to do with yourself. And so... Our young people that are born in this age are one with their phones. They are attached to it. It's an addiction. So even when some of these young people are so brilliant, they can't focus on what they need to focus on, not even for an hour. So, you know, the behavior was, as he's teaching, they were on their phone doing all kinds of stuff. They were not paying attention. And, you know, you have exams and he wants everyone to do well. So he gives me this task of managing these young people who often don't listen to anybody. And the truth be told, as a black woman in a space with, you know, Caucasian people, predominantly, you, you still have to be careful how you go to people. I'm like, why is this man giving me this responsibility? I'm paying you to teach me. You manage your own class. But somehow I thought about it and I'm saying every time you find yourself in a position, you should really look for the opportunity to serve God or to you know, demonstrate God in you. And so what he was afraid to say to the young lady and what he said about her was very true. You know, she was very hard to manage. He would gently tell her to put away the phone and she would just look at him with dirty looks. And she was very loud and she would just ask questions that deviate from what he was doing. And so I said, okay, use me. Use me, every opportunity. I have that I ask the spirits to use me and they pick me. Sometimes I'm saying, I say, use me. But when the time comes, I don't want to sometimes. But I went back and I said to her, you know, you can tell that you're a very smart person. And I know you wouldn't want to lose marks because of simple things like not being able to manage your time and putting away your phone when you need to. And she was very receptive to what I was saying. And she was so respectful she was very respectful, and I realized as the days progressed, all these people had so much respect for me, and they don't know me. And I see that as favor. At this critical juncture in my life, no matter what's going on with you, the hard times are there, but the Spirit is always there to remind you, I am here. Look, 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 at, this, look at the sunset. It looks like fire, people. Hey, I love my guides. I love my Creator. I love the favors that comes to my life. Even when everything seems like it's falling apart, people, I trust them. I trust the spirits. They're always here looking out for my good. And they stop me from begging. Listen, when I am in need, they come, they send, they deliver. What more can I ask for? Scary, yes? But I trust my guides, and so should you. 
whatever you're going through, just trust divine energies. Stay blessed, everyone.